this guy, I was begging this guy, I was saying this guy, please send me the money that you're in. He was ignoring me. He was ignoring me. That's a guess you anger at me. On top of my money. Oh, you know about like this. Oh, you know how fun the beat like this. I can't speak any language. What's up, Adora Gang? Yeah, welcome back to my channel, our channel. If you are just in my face for the first time, hi, you're welcome to the part of our gang. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and you automatically pass. But hi, I am Ijoma of Adora's World. I am a fashion, lifestyle, and spiritual content creator here on YouTube. So yeah, if you want more of that, definitely subscribe as well. In today's video, I have an interesting story time. I have an interesting, interesting story time about the time I got scammed by my sugar daddy. I know you guys want to hear what happened because it was crazy. <laughs> Find out, find out in the video, watch to the end, give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I know you will enjoy it, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe, join the gang. Yeah, let's get on to the video. I just want to preface this video by saying uh, it might be a touchy subject, like it's not really a touchy subject for me, it's not for transactional sex, transactional affairs will be something I will be talking about in this video and something that I have participated in. I will have or should have my sexuality video up now where I spoke more about it. But yeah, this is story time as it is. I don't care. Um, I just needed to say that so that you guys know I'm transparent about it and not anybody bringing it out from nowhere. <laughs> That's why I'm comfortable sharing it on here. Da, 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 da. Yes, I did that. And you would do it too for a check. How I met this sugar daddy. Mm. I met him in, I think, 2016. Funny enough, crazy. 2016 or... What am I saying? This is why I don't like my brain. I don't like my brain because I skip. I actually wasn't 16 or 17. I was probably probably like 18 because I didn't have sex till I was 18. Or I didn't know I was having sex till I was 18. So, I mean like, abuse aside. You guys, another story for my sexuality video, but I actually saved, saved my virginity for eating. Who does that? This was definitely each eating, so please don't get me wrong. I had gone to like the first year of uni. I just moved to this place in Makodo with my parents. So I used to go out to go and buy stuff for myself. And as a hot babe, normal, men will always stop because even minus me not being a hot babe, men are dogs. <laughs> no offense to my guys, but men are dogs. So men will stop and on this particular day this guy stop and me I'm not saying like I always answer every guy but yeah that day I was walking and I was like eh, I need a ride and my estate is safe I would say so I wasn't scared he was like please let him drop me let him drop me I was like okay finally he picked me and went we were just talking and he was really chill he's a governor's chassis she has this person's name, no, obviously not. But an ex governor's nephew. Yeah, that's what he was. He took me home. Nothing really happened that day. We just exchanged contacts. It was like he loved to see me. That was just the talk. Me, I was playing hard girl, hard guy at that time. Bear in mind that I was quite young. <laughs> this guy was like probably like 40. Probably like 40. Now, guess where you going? To jail. You going to jail, bitch? 35, I'll wave a cop. Maybe like 35, 30. I think he said he was 30, but probably like 35. But don't judge me. That that time, I won't cop. I had, I think I had a thing for older men. Not like I had a thing for older men, but like older men were attracted to me. So we just... Yeah. Moving on, Um, I went home and then we were just talking and then 
one day after much asking i decided to go to his house bear in mind i was a learner i had just entered uni like i didn't know much about this transactional sugar daddy kind of thing so i went to the house i think he said he was an architect so he brought me to the actual governor's house in my estate oh my god maybe i'm giving too much info now but he got me there because like oh he's designing this house that was not to have sex that day yeah let's just get it out of the way that was not the plan but one thing led to another now this guy before this he had been telling me okay he liked he'll get me anything i want that i don't know like he's good he makes money he had been talking about money <laughs> if i knew like if i had had other experiences before then i would have known all those talks about money was just to get me excited i think they had a chef so they cooked food for me i was enjoying said, oh he'll get me this what do i need now from talk to talk or talk let's to talk say what do i need now you get me this you get me that i think i wanted a camera then this guy said okay no problem child would me i'll say he would me but like hearing him say he'll buy me this and that and this i was like okay no problem we ended up in bed. We ended up in bed. We ended up doing the do the do. And then um, the shadiness comes out. Immediately after, he just started acting like he was so busy. Like, and the sex was so weird. I won't even talk about that. But it was weird. Like, no emotion. Ah, I don't want to talk about it because now I know sex is a contract. This bro. After then, he was like, okay, so let him drop me. He was so weird. He started acting like he was busy, he needed to walk. And he was like, okay, let him drop me. Um, he, will, he, he will transfer to me. I was like, okay, I know this guy's house. Even though it was not his house. But I was like, I know his house, his uncle's house. Like, everything will be fine. He dropped me. I texted this guy that day, like, what's up? He was like, ah, he'll send it, he'll send it. Texted him the next day, he'll send it, he'll send it. I was texting this man for weeks, this sugar daddy, for weeks. You guys, I was begging this guy, I was telling this guy, please send me the money that you're owing me. This guy was like, I'm not owing you anything. He was ignoring me, he was ignoring me. He kept on saying, like, Why would I be talking to him like this? Very mind, he promised me like 200k. 200. 200,000 naira. That, okay, how will he, how will he, how will I be thinking he wants to scam me? I'm not patient, I'm rude. Started getting anger at me. On top of my money, on top of my money that you are owing me now, because that's it. He was owing me money, period. I don't know, I don't care how anybody's going to take it, but yeah, that's it. This was young me now. Normally, I'm very vengeful, very angry. I would have gone after the nigga, but this time, I honestly did not have like the energy to be doing that. After texting him, I just was very angry, and I just blocked him. And bear in mind, like I'm a juvenile. Then I was like, "Be a juvenile." I was new to this thing, so I didn't know how to be careful with men, how to know how to time them, all of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just let it go. I was like, I don't know what to do about this. It's fine. Move on. Blocked him. What else did I do? I just blocked him and that was just it. I think he definitely reached out to me like a year after that on another number. And I was like, how do you have the audacity to be texting me when you have not paid, paid me the money you are owing me for? How? How do you... How can you be texting me? I was just like, I was just like, bro, don't text me. Like, you are owing me money, you are texting me. He's like, how are you talking? I'm not owing you money. You are being rude. How do you know I was a cop? At this point, I was like 19, 20, 21. Me, it's your man. I've learned, bruh. I've learned from you for once. For once. But yeah, that was it. He texted me. Then, to so how it backfired and how Kamba got his ass. When I was in my final year, COVID hit and we are home. So I was doing finals from home. Anyways, that's not the point. I went out, 
again like and i saw him in the same spot yesterday and obviously he didn't recognize me i had cut my hair obviously i looked different and he was just looking knocking was even following me you be mumu you think that you're wise you are a mumu man i wasn't answering him so when i now finally like answered him i was like ah is this guy he was talking he didn't remember jack i was like ah, ah see how the universe works he now collected my number. I'm like, I'm gonna get this guy. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. But I actually didn't know I was going to get him. He texted me. He was like, hey, what's up? And after everything, I was like, don't you remember me? He was like, no. And I think I now reminded him, like, he was like, wow. I'm like, so what's up with my money? Like, you trying to pay me? He was like, I didn't try to pay you. What's there? What's in 200 key? I can give you that. I'll give you. How much did you give me? Did you give me a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars? I think it's, it was five hundred dollars. He actually texted me around like one in the morning. He was like, oh, how can you see me? He had been disturbing me. So I was like, for five hundred dollars for my money that you owe me? Okay. I didn't tell him that, but I'm like, come, no problem. He came to my clothes because it's a big estate. Where we stay is a big estate. And he came to my street and then... He was begging, 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 that she was all day, that he did not see me all day, but I couldn't see him all day. So when he texted that one, I was like, oh, if you come now, then that's fine. But what I want is my money. He was like, okay, he's going to come. And I'm like, for 500, yeah, I'm going to be there. Even if my father is around, even if my mother is around, I'm going to sneak out. I snuck out and then we were in the car. We were chilling, this guy was asking me, so what do I need the money for? Don't I need more? That like, he can give me more. I'm like, nah, bruh, I don't need your more. I need your 500. Like, why is this guy trying to have pep talk with me after scanning me? Trying to touch my leg. I'm like, don't touch me. <laughs> I was really ready for him. Like, I would have embarrassed him. I didn't carry any weapon, but. I would have embarrassed him. He's like, if we go to the corner, he'll give me one thousand dollars instead or two thousand. I can't remember. I'm like, bruh, it's not give me my money right now. The one you owe me. I was like, okay, if you want us to go there, give me the five hundred first, and then we we'll go. He had this envelope of dollars. He was showing the money. Now brought out the five hundred. Counted five hundred and gave me. As soon as he gave me, my ego self is like, okay. Okay, okay, I'm done here. Nothing else. I came out from the car and I went. Like, I even felt bad for him, but like, why would I be feeling bad for this karma? But that's just me. That's the story of how my, of how this guy who was meant to be my sugar daddy turned out to be a scam. And then karma brought him back to me to give me the money. I think he gave me like 300. I think. The value was like 300 I'm, sh I'm not sure here, yeah, but I think so. That's the funny, crazy story that I have. And that's a good lesson. Like, when you chill, it will come back to you. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd like to know your crazy sugar daddy story, sugar mommy stories. If you don't mind sharing with me, let me know in the comments, in my DM. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and you like more story times like this, Definitely give it a thumbs up, that way YouTube will push it and I will know that you like it. But still give it a thumbs up and subscribe, join the Adora Gang if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Who you know about like this? Who you know how fun the beat like this? All the bad girls want to wine punk this, make a step forward like